Dirt, dirt, I'm all about that. Dirt. Hey guys, Nate here. I know it's been a minute since we made a video, but uh, it's Nate here at Nate Yant Racing. And today we are working on the Super Street. Yeah, still no garage. Uh, we've got to race one night this year. We've been to the track four. I really apologize for not posting more videos. I've been on the fence all year about just racing or not racing. Um, there's the damage. Um, that tragedy made me upset, uh, you know. But we're back here again to make another YouTube video for the racing page. Today we are going to be changing a gear in the car. The last time I went out, I guess we had an oil leak. I filled it up, but I guess it wasn't enough. And made one and a half laps and hot laps, popped a gear. So we got the car set up on jack stands. I'm working on pulling lug nuts off now. And we'll see what happens here. As you can see, I don't think I ever showed you guys the new wheels that I got for the car. I love them. But I'll check back in with you guys here in about a little bit um, when I got the tires pulled off. And we'll go on a little bit more and I'll tell you what I got to do. Guys, we was able to get the right rear off. Um, the left rear, not so much. I wouldn't have had a problem, but... I guess our impact and torque wrench decided it wanted to grow legs and run away, so I'm using a ratchet. Um, I'm going to probably zip the door off here, and maybe not. I might just put new body bracing under it and leave it the way it is. To race car, it'll get hurt anyway. I haven't even washed this thing. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the new motor in this power plant, or the new power plant in this thing or not, but I can't uh, start it right now. Battery died. People left the power switch on and oh well. Oh yeah. There she is. Z-Man Race Motors out of Potosi, Missouri. He's who builds our motors. There's our rinky dink. We didn't have a radiator hose long enough and we wanted to go racing so. We cut an old radiator hose and put a pipe in the middle of it and I've not had a single heating issue all year or a cooling issue. Um, nice headers on the car. Edelbrock air breather, which I might go buy me a new one of them. Oh, just got a Snapchat. We were gonna put my full containment seat in the car and uh, come to find out. My full containment seat wouldn't fit because of this mount down there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But this bar right here stopped me from doing that. But that's okay. I'm a little sweaty, a little hot. I think we're going to go in the house, get us a drink real quick, and uh, probably rally up some tools, see if we can't get the right side axle tore out. It is a Ford floater, 9-inch floater. The problem is it's bent. So an easy 10-minute job of getting the axles out, I wouldn't even have to take wheels off usually. But uh, with mine with the axles or the rear end being bent a little bit on not only the left side and the right side, but uh, so I got to take the drive plates and everything out to get this thing off, which is okay because I might just go through and well-maintain everything. Uh, get the front end up on jack stands, spray all the brake rotors down, brake pads again, nut and bolt check everything. Just go over things before we go out for our June or our July 11th, my bad, July 11th race at St. Francis County Raceway. Um, one race I am looking forward to making is the July 26th race at Doe Run Raceway in Doe Run, Missouri. That's going to be neat. Um... Never got to race there. We, my dad took the car there, oh, back in 2015, I believe. And we didn't do terrible, but both nights we lost power steering. And on a little fifth mile bull ring like that, losing power steering is not that good. But anyway, guys, like, like I said, I'm just going to get me something to drink here, cool down, take a breather, 
and go see if I can get the right tools to pull the right side axle out of the car and that'll always get one side ready. Alrighty guys, power invested in me, tire off, axle out, drive flange off on both sides. There's the lug nuts. I am going to do a deep spray on this, uh, go through and spray everything with engine degreaser. See, there's that. So, let's see if we can just get a piece of metal or something. There's a little bit of flake. I don't know if the camera will focus on it. For the, there is metal. That's a, that's actually a chunk of metal right there. That's just destruction. $500 destruction it could be. Thankfully it was only three for me. Um, yeah, I was just gonna show you guys around. Uh, I purchased a new trailer this year. It's not the greatest, not the best. The door did come off of it. It, Like I said, it's not the best. It, it's something to get the year going. Um, hopefully by next year we can either get a bigger open trailer or an enclosed for my sip. Um, a lot of people use Dirt Defender mud covers. I've had really good luck with the Dominator. I like them. They're easy to work on. They're bolt on. I got a spare upper right here. I might put that on. Who knows? Uh, my tools. Funny story about that. A buddy of mine, I was working with him. He was using my trailer one day. And I asked his son, which is only three, Caden. You'll see him this weekend at the racetrack. But I asked him to put my tools up. Well, I put them on the side where the door was open. Gosh dang it. Son of a gun. Look at the luck. There's my impact I was looking for. I could have eliminated about 30 minutes of work. <laughs> and a lot of energy. But Oh well. But anyway, yeah, he put it right here. And we turned out on the road. And when we did, my tool set went flying across the highway. And <sighs> sad to say, but I had to clean them all up. These tires, they're burnt up. I think I'm going to put them on. I might, I'm going to burn them off and then put a new set on for go run. I believe so. Just because. Anyway, guys, let's take a walk. We're going to take a walk in the shop. This is going to be a long video for once. It's going to be a pain with my parents' slow internet because that's where I'm uploading the video. But it's all right. We'll get there. Here's the late model. Uh, we were supposed to go race and never got to race. So, maybe one day we'll get to race. Probably next weekend in Poplar Bluff on a Friday. I'll have to talk to Dad when I get back in the house. Um, there's the 700 gear. I pulled it out of the shop. 700 gear. Yes, I'm wearing Crocs. Oh, God, it's hot in here. Um, our vinyl cutter. Uh, my dad has his own vinyl shop at MT Graphics. He's the one that did all the designs on the hood of my car. That's where you see the dragons and all that. Ooh. I'm not too sure, but I don't think we got any more engine degrees. Or... We got brake clean. It's way up the top shelf. Shoot me. Okay, no big deal. I'll just have to go to the parts store and buy some. I gotta go get rear end grease anyway, so won't be no big ordeal. Shut the shop up. <sighs> we got the boot waterproofer, sea foam. We got some glass cleaner. I was hoping maybe I could catch a can of the greaser or something laying around, but. I don't think I will. I think I'm just shooting myself in the foot right now. Looking. What's this? Weed killer. I don't think I'm going to find what I'm looking for, everybody. So, we'll head on down. Back to the car. Let's do absolutely nothing. It's like 90 degrees out here. I'm actually about to close up for the day and catch back in tomorrow to start working on it again because we got some rain moving in so i think i'm just gonna call it a day head back at it as this is a whole week this whole week's gonna be nothing but working on a race car 
You're gonna see me change a gear. You're gonna see me nut and bolt check things. You're gonna see me grind tires, wash tires. Um, hell, I think even Friday, I might just load her up back on the trailer and take it to the car wash. Just because. It's fan appreciation night. I wanna have a good looking car for the fans. I do know it's gonna get muddy at the races, so I might not, I might just do a hand scrub on it or something um just to get it done with i am thinking about moving these ramp overs back to the end of the trailer and doing something like that that i think it'll be a little bit better i thought about welding them on the trailer and then i'm like well if i ever get rid of the trailer but i don't think i will so that way if need be i can load the late model up on the trailer on this trailer and we'll be set to go so I think this week I'm actually going to get some metal plating or something and put in here and put there for ramps because this right here is a pain in the hind end with this gap there. The tire with an 8 inch tire it likes to fold in around this bar and sucks it down and it's hard to steer and unload so I think things would go a little bit smoother like that. Man this is a long one. That's what I was talking about my dad doing graphics on the car. He did that. The dragons and the stuff you see his logo there show the logo on that um scp they're on the car yes it's fast and no you can't drive it a lot of people have asked me about that and i tell them there's my nickname big hoss 45y there's the name yeah i never really got to show you guys the car either i don't think i ever did my dad thought it'd be funny and he put get some nuts in the car i think he's an idiot but that's just me Aero race wheels is all I use. Lucas Oil products. I do use Lucas Oil lube assembly for the motors and stuff. That's all we used last year to put our motor together. Had a Trump 2020 sticker. It died. I might be able to get Dad to go ahead and make me a new one. Bodies by Rocket, man. So, little story behind this. A lot of people make fun of the body for the seams being showed, as you can see. Um, me, on the other hand, I love it. It's so easy to work on. I had a local racer in our area. Not, thank you, Tractor Trailer, for interrupting. But I had a local racer in the area. His name's Scott Jarrett. He drives the 4M B Mod. Um, I messaged him and he had said, Man, I've not done a street stock body before, but I'm happy to give it a shot. And I ordered it and it came out just perfect to me. A lot of people have hated on it, but I just flat out love the thing. It's great. But anyway, like I said, as you can see, there's Sky clouds are getting a little dark back there so that's the story behind the bodies by rocket man young farms is on it protect the harvest those are just some of the that's all the stuff that we got on the race car if you guys are looking to sponsor a racing team i'd be happy to be a part of the team i don't we accept just about anything but anyway guys i'll check back in probably tomorrow is when we'll get back started on this race car well guys looks like the rain actually cleared up we didn't get none yet so right now i'm digging through our toolbox in my dad's trailer because apparently half my tools disappeared and they've ended up in the trailer toolbox i had two half inch wrenches they both disappeared and i have yet to see a half inch wrench in here there's a 916 760 that's my 760 uh-huh and there's one half inch i'll give them the 716s back we're going to take out a drive shaft chicken We're gonna take a trip and climb under the car. Okay. Oh, Lord. Can you guys see what I got to play with? Yay. Holy shit. Half the bolts came out. Shh. 
That's what we got to take care of. I'll keep you posted. All right, drive shaft has been pulled. Next up, gear. That's what it looks like when you look down the axle too. Well guys, as you can see, I uh, pulled the gear out. Who's ready to see the damage? This is, never seen anything like it. Boom. Broke it in pieces. I'm gonna take this into my dad and see if it's even salvageable. But the third member is not. So that's what broke right there, everybody. You can see in there, look at that. Oh yeah. That's awesome. But that was the damage. It sucks, but it's racing. Alright guys, that'll conclude it for this video on part one. Um, I went to go put the gear in the car, had the gear set up, and a lot of the nuts that holds the gear onto the studs was missing. I think I was missing four, four or five. Um, as well as one of the studs decided it wanted to departure out as soon as I slapped the gear up. So first thing in the morning, we're going to climb underneath the car and get that all straightened out and see if I can't get a gear drive shaft and stuff put in the car. Then just go over my simple maintenance, grease everything, check everything, make sure it's all tight. And I think we'll have a race car ready to go by Saturday night. I appreciate you all for joining in and watching this video as well as the other ones thank you for the support on the channel i really appreciate it once again if you haven't yet please subscribe and i don't have a big number goal but it's just great to see subscribers and see my views go up please share with your friends and see what i can accomplish in this ride of a journey on youtube like i said i'm sorry that it's taken me so long to come back into youtube but uh you know it's just one of them things I've had some pretty bad luck going on, so it was the least of my worries right now. But I appreciate you guys. Thanks for tuning in.